Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So this video, I thought I'd make this video about PewDiePie. I mean, PewDiePie is the biggest single uh, YouTuber on earth. I think the only one above him is like this T-series where they, they upload like Bollywood uh, music and stuff like that. But PewDiePie as an individual is the biggest YouTuber on earth. And he made a video last night it was, I think. And I was watching it and at, towards the end, um, he started talking about veganism. But like, let's just talk about PewDiePie. I I'm fairly sure he doesn't eat meat, right? I I'm fairly sure him and his partner, uh, Marcia, they don't eat meat. But this was one of the run-ins he had with a YouTuber about three years ago. Her name's Saoirse. Let's check this out. If PewDiePie were to go vegan, he'd have a meaningful message. If I went vegan, I would have a meaningful message. Are all vegans part of some cult or something? Like, what's happening? What What about all the charity that I do? We raised over a million dollars towards many different charities. Is that not a meaningful message enough? Or does animals only matter? I'm just confused. This is like why no one will take vegans seriously. Because one batshit crazy person come out and says stuff like this, and everyone else just gets discredited. So that was his run-in with Saoirse. Now, interestingly, like... PewDiePie a smart guy, and yes, he, he does work for charity, so like, just because he's not a vegan doesn't mean he doesn't do good in the world. It just means there might be things in your life that you're contributing a lot of suffering to that you don't realise. But maybe PewDiePie does realise because he made this video. Let's check it out. Animals burn in Australia. Animals burn on a grill. Hypocrites. Okay, someone said it. Yeah, I know you're kidding, but similar things happen at a much faster rate in industrial farms. And that is a serious issue. People don't seem to care about this yet. Make donations to rescue the animals in Australia, which, don't get me wrong, that's fantastic, but it's hypocritical to then dismiss all the suffering, which is arguably worse and factually much bigger that goes in that burger you just munched. I actually thought, I thought about this the other day. He thought about this the other day. So, you know, those people say, don't call people hypocrites, you know, Calling out people's hypocrisy doesn't work. Now, did PewDiePie scoff his nose at that and go, oh my god, no, nah, he called us a hypocrite, this is just too militant. No, there's logic behind it. And this Australia bushfires thing, this worked for a lot of people. I remember, I think it was um, Greg Doucette's partner as well, Ali, she was talking about the Australia bushfires. I mean, we capitalised on that tragedy because it was an obvious display of hypocrisy. Now... The animals were being burnt up in those fires, which was horrible. No one wants to see koalas being burnt up in fires. But gas pigs are being gas chambered in Australia every single day. There's like half a billion animals being slaughtered in Australia every single year. And if you go to worldwide numbers, you're talking about, you know, 70 billion land animals and two to three trillion marine animals. It's just cra they're crazy numbers. So this is a perfect opportunity for people to speak up about this. These opportunities, these are the ones that are reaching people like PewDiePie. And if you call out the hypocrisy, PewDiePie has obviously got logic in his mind when he thinks these things through. And he sees the hypocrisy in it too. Let's keep going. What, what, what was my thought? My very interesting thought. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something about cancel and how people are so upset over injustice online or what seems like injustice of people doing bad things so they cancel them and that's always happening. Oh, this person did this, hey, you're done. But, mo and I think most people don't like to see animals in pain. But if you look at inside a lot of uh, industries where the, how they treat animal behind the scenes inside these farms or inside the, or the way they're killed, it's uncomfortable. People wouldn't like it. I guarantee you, you wouldn't like it. At least in the, in the mass, Mass killing and mass production, at least. Um, I'm not talking about local farms. My point here, I think people don't care so much about the animals, even though if you get upset about the killing of animals, then that also means that you are partaking in it, which in a way makes you bad. <laughs> so what he's saying is there's this cancel culture going around, but like when it comes to animals, everyone's going to be canceled because everyone's, you know, paying for animals to go to slaughterhouses. So when it comes to animal cruelty, you know, you know, you sh this is where people start to become hypocritical because they're eating a steak and they're saying animal cruelty is bad. And this is kind of what he's saying. He's saying like, he also said something about, oh, this applies to most of the industrial farming, not local farms. 
But I think PewDiePie would understand too that all those local animals at local farms go to a local slaughterhouse to be butchered and chopped up as well. So, you know, that that kind of is a bit inconsistent. But what he's t- sort of talking about is factory farming's horrible and this is where most of the meat and dairy and eggs are coming from, factory farms. And it kind of makes you hypocritical. This is kind of the vibe he's going for here. When cancel culture is all about calling out other people bad so I can feel good, but you can't really do that when you look at animal issues and how they're treated because it's like, well, you <laughs> you have to at least uh be a vegan or a vegetarian to do that we have to be a vegan to do that pewdiepie um not a vegetarian because this is what i used to say i remember making facebook posts ages ago before i went vegan i started to it started to click and sink in and i remember seeing people saying oh save the whales or or don't eat palm oil or do all these things and they've got a steak on their plate and it used to like do my head and i was like you're eating a steak Right, you're talking about save this species of animal, uh, don't use palm oil, it's bad for orangutans, but you've got you know, a steak from a cow who was slaughtered on your plate. Stop being a hypocrite. And I remember I made a Facebook post saying, unless you're vegan or vegetarian, um, you're not an animal rights activist, you, you, you're, you're just a hypocrite. At least I could admit my own hypocr- hypocrisy. I remember saying this in a Facebook post. So PewDiePie is at that stage. It's taken him a while, but he's there. Well, you <laughs> you have to at least uh, be a vegan or a vegetarian to do that, which is why they are so annoying. <laughs> and this is why vegans are so annoying to people because it's truth in what we're saying. There's truth in what we're saying. And people just, they get angry. They get cognitive dissonance. No, I care about animals. Stop calling me out. Oh, vegans are so aggressive. And... Okay, okay, I got it. I got the perfect example. Okay, if, let, let's put it this way. If everyone was uh, vegan and vegetarian and then they saw how animals were treated, then for sure people would be like, I can't believe they're doing this. This is awful. And considering how often people get called out on shit online, it, it, it's weird how that has never, uh, it doesn't get any traction. Yeah, well, you know why PewDiePie? <laughs> Because if we've got enough traction, then enough people will be exposed to their own hypocrisy. And this is what activism is, you know. This is what activism is supposed to do. Like, you call out this hypocrisy like the Australian bushfires. And people were saying, oh, stop leveraging off the bushfires. Stop leveraging off of this. But it's actually the perfect time to speak about this. I mean, there's Yulin Dog Eating Festival too um, every year. And this is a great opportunity to say, okay, most of the public are against eating dogs. So am I. But then you go home and you eat pigs, cows, chickens, and lambs. And these opportunities... They, when they come around, they should be capitalized on because we're trying to liberate all the animals, not just one species. And, you know, PewDiePie here, he's having a, a wake-up call. He's having this awareness come over him. And he's made, he makes his own decisions. He makes his own decisions based on the knowledge he has, based on the rationale and his own compassion, his own heart. Seems like a compassionate guy. He's donated millions to charity. It seems like the, he might make the right decision soon, but he's just going at his own pace. Oh, it's me. It's me, guys. God creating vegans. Oh, just a little bit of logic. Oh, f- And God slipped and put too much logic into the vegans. So he's, here he's like inadvertently sort of agreeing that vegans have a lot of logic with, with their position. Our position is logical. It's consistent. If you get against animal cruelty, you should be doing your best to try to mitigate that in your life. Um, obviously, you can't live without causing any suffering at all. But why would we cause the maximum amount by putting animals by the billion into slaughterhouses and cutting their throats open. I mean, it's very simple logic and it's really hard to deny that kind of logic. Too much, I'm not vegan by the way. Too much logic, guys. (laughs) Just hurts. (laughs) He's not vegan by the way. See, he likes to put that in there. I'm not vegan, but got to admit there's a lot of logic in vegans. He's just, he's not vegan yet. He is definitely on his way though. He is definitely on his way. Like, he is, he's going to get there very soon. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't, to be honest with you, um, the way that he's talking about this. Listen, all I'm saying is there's a weird gap right now with people on the internet getting very upset about how animals are mistreated and ignoring a lot of shit that's happening in, <laughs> in the reality of the meat industry. That's all I'm saying, all right? There's a weird gap between people who are caring about animals being mistreated but eat animal products. I mean... Couldn't have said it better myself. Eat whatever you want. I don't give a f- And then he's like, eat whatever you want. I don't care sort of thing. But, you know, uh, you will start to care. Because as you wake up more and more, you start to see, you know, the hypocrisy. And you start to see animals suffering in every burger. You start to see people around you committing these gross atrocities to animals but with the blindfold on and it kind of it starts to get to you so you you might even want to speak up a little bit more about this but he's got a huge youtube channel and 
he probably doesn't want to alienate his entire audience. So I guess he's kind of, kind of inadvertently pointing out this logic. I think a lot of people will just, because he's got so many subscribers and so much love, like the guy could just turn millions of people vegan just like that. I mean, imagine if he put slaughterhouse footage on his channel, God, or just even directed someone to a movie like Dominion, like what that could do. This guy had so much power in his hands, like on his channel with his platform, he could just, he could do so much, man, for animals. And he already does do a lot. Like he, I'm not saying he doesn't do a lot. Um, just because he's not a vegan doesn't mean he can't do good things in the world. Of course, that's it would be insane to suggest that. But man, imagine what he could do for the animals, dude. Just with one video, this guy's, this guy's got a beast of a channel. He gets millions of views. Let's see how many, how many views does he get a month? PewDiePie. Let's have a look. God, God, God. He's got 26 billion video views. He gets 300 million views a month. Whoa. Wow. That is crazy. Imagine if it turned into a vegan channel. No, it wouldn't. But imagine if he just went vegan and started talking about veganism every now and then or just made vegan cooking videos. Like, that would be huge. I would just... Oh, God, that would be a dream come true for the animals. It's just amazing. Now, the other day, just... just Hold on here. Hold on. Stay with me here. Stay with me. Because just the other day, he made a little cooking video. Like, let's have a look here. Film the hot dogs, not me. <laughs> Are they always wobbly? They're tofu. Don't tell them. It's not soy. It's, <laughs> it's pure protein. It's made by intestines and brains. All that good stuff that you want from a hot dog. No, no tofu. Not in my kitchen. Soy cringe. So here he is, he's like, no, this isn't tofu, not in my kitchen, soy cringe, I wouldn't do that. Like, this is made of intestines and brains like normal hot dogs are, of course. So he's just like, he's trying to, he's being funny, he doesn't want people to know. Who, maybe he's a little bit embarrassed, like, I don't know, could PewDiePie get embarrassed of eating tofu or soy? Um, I mean, it's kind of like you're going against the grain, um, you know, when you be vegan, and you, you sort of open yourself up to a bit of ridicule, but I think... Um, such a confident guy like PewDiePie couldn't be afraid of that, could he? But yeah, like it must have been his partner, Marzia, maybe. They're tofu. Don't tell them. Yeah, like Marzia saying in the background, it's tofu, it's tofu. Don't tell them, don't tell them. Anyways, but then you go on to his mashed potatoes. Yeah. I don't know how much milk you put, but I don't see how you can fail in making mashed potatoes. Can you? They're mashed potatoes. They're going to be mashed potatoes without... Yeah, that was... We'll start with that. But then he puts a uh, uh, dairy milk. I uh, looked up just milk. Just milk is it's full cow's dairy. I mean, I could be wrong, but no, it, it's definitely cow's dairy milk. Yeah, it's got a cow on there. If you if you look on the package, there's a little cow on the on the package. See see the cow with the green grass there. PewDiePie might not know that the dairy industry is horrific, forcibly impregnating cows, taking their their calves away from them. If they're a male, they'll be sent off to veal or be shot on the farm on their first day of life, or they'll be raised as beef and have their head cut off. The females will go on to be milk producing slaves, essentially, where they'll produce milk and have their milk taken for years and then be impregnated again every single year for about six or seven or eight years, depending on the farm and then they'll be slaughtered so it's just a life of misery having their calves abducted from them killed slaughtered you know the dairy industry is basically just supportive of the beef industry they're both the same industries and the leather industry a lot of uh, leather comes from the dairy industry so yeah just as horrific as the meat industry pewdiepie if you didn't know that anyways and then he opens up his fridge here and you see he's got the old free range eggs. I used to do this. I used to buy free range eggs as well, thinking I was doing the right thing. And the, the, the package looks really good and it makes you feel really good. Oh, these are free range chickens, you know, like have free range sheds. Uh, here's some images of some free range sheds here. Now free range farms are capped at a maximum outdoor density of 10,000 hens per hectare, one per square meter, though they still spend most of their time packed together in large sheds. Chickens naturally form and live within a social hierarchy called a pecking order, but are only able to recognize around 100 other chickens. In sheds or paddocks with thousands of other birds, their inability to maintain this pecking order results in chaos. The weak birds are picked on with no way to escape. Disease spreads rapidly. Uh, you know, maybe they get some access to sunlight every now and then, um, but free range is just, it's a big shed, basically. And, you know, it's, it's not what it, what, what it seems anyway. 
and um, the egg producers, so what happens is they come from a, a hatchery, but at this hatchery what happens is the males will go down into a conveyor belt and get macerated because the males of this particular breed, they, they don't grow fast enough for meat, then they're just not financially viable, they don't lay eggs for the egg industry, only the females do, so they'll just drop them into a macerator or they suffocate them in a bag or gas chamber them. So. Yeah, that's with free range organic eggs, just the egg industry generally, like even backyard hens. If you buy those, if you get those backyard hens, you're supporting an industry that macerates male chicks in a hatchery. So that can't really be avoided. And, and all these egg laying, free range egg laying hens will go on to be slaughtered at about 18 months of age anyway when their egg production declines. So this is just the chicken industry, basically. I mean, if, see, if you like PewDiePie and you, you're not eating meat for some ethical reason, but then you go and eat free range eggs, which also support the chicken industry because all those hens are slaughtered. Eating eggs just contradicts your own ethics if you're a vegetarian for moral reasons, which which is kind of contradictory in itself. You can't be vegetarian for moral reasons, you know. Vegan only, vegan only. I thought I'd make a video. Hopefully he sees it, mate. Like, go PewDiePie. I support you, mate. Like, I think, uh, like, you could just do so much, dude, like, on your channel. And uh, if he ever watches this, which he probably won't, I mean, I really like him too. Maybe if you shared it with him, that would be cool. Um, but I just think, uh, go PewDiePie, man. Just go vegan, dude. Just go vegan. You, you, you see the logic in it. You, you wouldn't want to wear, wear leather, wool. Uh, you probably oppose animal testing. You probably don't like seeing uh, animals in prison zoos and being used as slaves in circuses. And, you know, the egg industry, the dairy industry, both horrific industries. you got to look on into those industries, dude. They are horrific. Arguably worse than the meat industry. Arguably, like, like just some, some prolonged suffering. Like, I know it's, it's hard to compare them, but just as evil um, at minimum so pewdiepie dude go just go vegan mate um if you wanted to do it a little bit covert at the start because you're a bit embarrassed okay fair enough but like should be proud to be against animal cruelty and proud to promote anti-animal abuse to your following i mean a lot of impressionable young younger teenagers following your stuff and probably some adults too. I mean, I like watching your videos as well. But you can you can just change so many people's lives like this, man. You can change so many animals' lives like this. You can you can make a huge impact just with your platform that you have. Anyways, guys, that's a series interrupting. So, what do you guys think in the comment section? Do you think PewDiePie should just be morally consistent? I mean, he sees the hypocrisy in claiming to care about animals, but, you know, eating animal products, using animal products, even though he's still using animal products himself. Do you think he needs to be a more morally consistent, go vegan? He could even just be a, an animal rights activist. I mean, he's got the facilities, he's got the massive platform and the money, he could do so much for animals. What do you guys think? Go PewDiePie? Go vegan PewDiePie? We'll have to see. Vegan PewDie vegan pie. He'd be making some PewDie vegan pie uh, with all vegan in ingredients. So, okay, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for tuning in and peace to you, PewDiePie. Hope to see you on the vegan train very soon. Go vegan and save the planet. Go vegan. Be nice to animals. There's a weird gap right now with people on the internet getting very upset about how animals are mistreated and ignoring a lot of shit that's happening in <laughs> in the reality of the meat industry. That's all I'm saying, all right? Thank you very much for helping me find my core message. I will now go on and tell Michael, who's in the other room, what a piece of shit he is for not finding his core message.